Module 4, Lesson 12, Homework. Number 1. Terrence finished a word search in three-fourths the time it took Frank. Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds the time it took Terrence. Frank finished the word search in 32 minutes. How long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? So I'm going to make some tape diagrams so that we can have a visual to compare t uh, Terrence, Frank, and Charlotte. I want to make them all the exact same size. Okay, so we know Terrence finished it in three fourths the time it took Frank. And let's see, this is what I'm looking for. Frank finished in 32 minutes. So no matter what, we know Frank finished in 32 minutes. So Let's go back to Terrence finished in three-fourths the time it took Frank. So Terrence is three-fourths the time I'm going to shade in three-fourths of what it took Frank. So Frank was all of this. Now, we can solve it a few different ways. Um, we can see that I notice there's four equal sections here and 32 minutes. So I'm going to do 32 divided by 4 and get 8. And then I know that each of these sections is equal to 8. So then each of these sections would also be equal to 8. So Terrence would be 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24 minutes. But we want to know how long it took Charlotte to finish. So Charlotte finished in 2 thirds the time it took Terrence. So we're comparing Charlotte and Terrence right now. Now what I notice is that she took 2 thirds of the time and it Terrence's is conveniently already split into thirds. So if we just took two of those thirds, one, two, that is Charlotte. So eight plus eight, she took 16 minutes to finish the word search. Number two, Miss Phillips ordered 56 pizzas for her school fundraiser. Of the pizzas ordered, ordered, two of them were pepperoni, 19 were cheese, and the rest were veggie pizzas. What fraction of the pizzas was veggie? So 56 were ordered, two-sevenths were pepperoni, 19 were cheese, and the rest were veggie. So we're not sure what, uh, how many were veggie. But we do know that 19 were cheese, and the total was 56. So if we want to know 2 sevenths of 56, that's multiplying. So let's do 2. And I'm going to reduce, because I can do 56 divided by 7. Make it 8. Make that 1, which makes this into a much simpler problem here. So we get 16 pizzas. So 2 sevenths, that's equal to 16 pizzas. And this is 19 pizzas. And this is the rest. So if we have 16 pizzas and 19 pizzas, we have 35 pizzas. So that's 35 pizzas. The rest are veggie, which means that we can do 56 minus 35 to find the rest. So 21 pizzas were veggie, but that's not the question they were asking. It wants to know what fraction. So there's 21 out of 56. So we can say 21 56 
Or if we want to reduce that, we can divide both 21 and 56 by 7, which would get us 21 divided by 7 is 3, 56 divided by 7 is 8. So 5 eighths of, or 3 eighths of the pizzas were veggie. Number three, in an auditorium, one-sixth of the students are fifth graders, one-third are fourth graders, and one-fourth of the remaining students are second graders. If there are 96 students in the auditorium, how many second graders are there? All right, so in the auditorium, one-sixth are fifth. So fifth is a sixth of how many were there total? 96. One third or fourth and one fourth of the remaining students are second. So it's not of 96, it's what's remaining. So we need to do a little bit of work before we can get there. So let's figure out how many one-sixth of 96 would be. So let's do 96 divided by 6. Six goes into 36 six times. So this would be six, so there were 16 fifth graders. Let's work on fourth graders, so one third of 96. Now I could solve it like I just did before, but I'm gonna use my fraction relationships and I notice that one third is twice as much as one sixth because one sixth plus one sixth is two sixths or one third. So instead of doing the work, what I'm gonna notice is that one sixth is 16. So one third would be 16 plus 16, and 16 plus 16 is 32. So there are 32 fourth graders. And now we need to find the, the remaining students. So let's add 16 plus 32 to figure out how many fifth and fourth graders there are. So 48 fifth and fourth graders. So let's see how many are remaining. I'm gonna subtract to find that out. So 96 minus 48. Forty-eight. So one fourth of the remaining, or one fourth of forty-eight. So I'm going to multiply. We get forty-eight fourths, which is equal to if we do forty-eight divided by four, twelve. So there are twelve second graders. Number four, at a track meet, Jacob and Daniel compete in the 220 meter hurdles. Daniel finishes in three fourths of a minute. Jacob finishes with five twelfths of a minute remaining. Who ran the race in the faster time? So let's start with Jacob. So he finished in three fourths of a minute. And Jacob finishes, I labeled that wrong. This is Daniel. Jacob, he finishes with 5 twelfths of a minute remaining. So I'm going to split this into twelfths. And he finished with 5 twelfths remaining, which means that this was left. So he actually only took 7 twelfths to finish. So who finished the race in a faster time? We can see that Jacob was finished before Daniel. He took less time. Bonus, express the difference in their times as a fraction of a minute. 
So Jacob is seven twelfths. Daniel is three fourths. So if we want to know the difference, we'll be subtracting so three fourths minus seven twelfths. We need to find a common denominator. So 12 would be a good denominator. 7 twelfths is already in twelfths, so let's make 3 fourths into twelfths. So we have 9 twelfths minus 7 twelfths is equal to 2 twelfths. And if we reduce that, we have 1 sixth. So he ran it in 1 sixth minute faster. Number five, create and solve a story problem about a runner who is training for a race. Include at least one fraction in your story. So I'll give you some ideas of what m maybe you could write about. So I noticed that the entire thing is 48 kilometers. So maybe you could write and say someone's training for 48 kilometers and maybe they broke it up into a couple of different days. I see that this, there's a question mark here. So you could surround your question, something about like, what fraction is this? Um, it looks like it's broken up into fourths here and twelfths here. So be creative. Use something that you've come up with. I really want you to try this one on your own. And if you come up with something great, leave it down in the comments below. And maybe that'll help some other people out and give people different ideas. Uh, number six, create and solve a story problem about two friends and their weekly allowance whose solution is given by the expression one-fifth times 12 plus eight. Okay, so I'll help you out a little bit more on this one since there's no picture drawn for you already. Um, so it looks like it's one-fifth times 12 plus eight. So if I were to guess, or we don't have to guess, we're making up our own problem. Maybe this is $12, and then maybe they earned something else by doing $8. So let's pick two people. Let's say Sarah and Jane each earn money for chores. You could say Sarah earned, I'm going to use $12 for maybe she cleaned the kitchen. And $8 for bathing, uh, giving the dog a bath. And then we want to know what one fifth of this is. So let's say that maybe Jane earns one fifth of this amount for babysitting. How much does Jane earn? So go ahead and try to come up with something different than what I have. So maybe if all you can think of is to pick different chores, pick different chores, but try and come up with some creative way to make this your own. And if you have something you're really proud of, post it down below.